Well, hello everyone. It is your amazing host here. It is Team All Right. And how are you doing on this Thursday's edition? I am doing awesome. It is a beautiful day outside. Once again, I'm staying positive, and hopefully you are too. Stay away from people. Wash your flipping hands. If you need to do any errands, wear a mask if it's required. You know, especially in these stores when they're going to be opening very, very soon. And just listen to the damn government and listen to people. If not, this will get even worse. Okay, everyone. I do have TikTok, so follow me down there. Follow me and... Uh, Twitch, Twitter, my Facebook page, and all the stuff. All that stuff will be down below. The article will be down below or the link. Now it is time to discuss wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. Now, if you like, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, grab some drink. Now, if you don't do it like that, maybe you want to like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions, and a subject. And, of course, the article will be down below. Let's roll this. Now, we all know that... Keith Slater got released recently due to um, the cutbacks. Now, right now, Bo Dallas is still a pro, uh, still working for the WWE. He needs to be gone. Okay, they don't use him correctly whatsoever. He's a total sorry to say this. He's a total bust. You know, if they release him, I'm assuming he will go to AE. AEW, once the 30 days expire or whatever. I think that's the rule for WWE once you get released. Or can you get signed for another wrestling promotion? So, I never did like Bo Dillis. He's a total joke. His character. Do you guys like him? Did they ever use him correctly? Absolutely not. Okay, WWE released many wrestlers and staff a month ago as part of the huge roster cuts. One name that surprised not on the list was Bo Dallas. Bo Dallas, a tag team partner, Cursed Axel, got released. That was a shame, but like I said earlier, they don't use these guys. They sign them, and they don't use them correctly. Probably because he don't have a great... He was not very good on like I don't know what was, why did they got released him. I know cut back, but you never know. May, they might bring him back, but what's the point? The probably they'll bury him. Okay. Dave Melzer of the Wrestling Observer report the following news in regarding Bo Dallas. You guys can read it, okay? Now, do you think eventually they will release him? Recently, they released, I forgot who they released recently. Now, is this going to hurt the WWE? Maybe, maybe not. Now, there are some guys, I don't give a crap if they release them or not release them. I don't care. I just don't care. Because they don't use them correctly. They sign these guys because they're afraid that another wrestling promotion might pick them up. So, WWE picks them up, they sign them, and guess what? They're backstage with a stupid segment or a squash match on TV or even live events, really, mom, and all that good stuff. So, sorry about the noise. My mom's making some shakes. Anyway, what's your thoughts on this article? Like, subscribe, you come hit the notification, hit the subscribe, and I will be back tonight sometime. And don't look, sorry, look out for my money bank. Production for tomorrow's time. Then the Monday will be my money bank review. Look out for that. Peace out and take care.